Three minutes gone in the first quarter. Here's Parker. Pass to Bazemore. Clock at four. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Parker's shot is off. It's a very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay -in. And Sadaransky wide open. He fires. Tries again. And Cornett gets it to go. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Here's Joseph. Rebound by the Bulls. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Parker with the steal. And he's going up for the alley -oop. The shot comes out. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but yeah. they just couldn't quite yeah. connect. No, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. And so it's Joseph with it. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. It's a 10-point game. To end the run. Pass to Giles. Stolen by Sadaransky. Here's Dunn, and that's good off the glass that time. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Now, so many people were worried about Chris Dunn's offense after his rookie year, but you know what, Greg? He's turned it around. And gone from struggling to hit 40% of his shots to shooting better from the floor. Still a strong defender, and he's making people forget that his offense was ever a question mark. Here's Joseph. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Twenty-nine seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Heald. Beyond the arc. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. I love seeing Hill shoot the three ball. He's a high percentage score for me. I'm firing with these. Here's Cornette. Now Young. And the layup's good off the glass. Stop. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Yeah, Greg, they've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. And so it's Chicago. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, they came in on a mission, razor-sharp offense in that first period. Yeah, and now they got to find a way to keep it going, keep growing that lead. Chicago leading by nine. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, there's not a lot of NBA players who come from Finland. Now there's Lori Markin. Before him, there was Hanno Matala, who was actually Lori's high school coach. Markin is soft-spoken and family-focused, but he says everything starts with a basketball. All the decisions yeah. I make are based on if it helps me in the basketball. Yeah, Kevin? Terrific yeah, attitude. Yeah. David, thanks. Chris, are there specific types of plays where you feel the whistle gets blown maybe a little too often in a little too early? Well, sometimes uh, oh, no. for a guard, maybe the defending the guard and the pick and roll comes and fights through that pick. And as a guard, uh, oh, yeah. I can stop right. and stop and let you bump into oh, me and yeah. shoot the ball. I think the refs just they have to be smart with it. Sometimes it's a foul, but every time it's not just because of the situation uh, or, or, or the flop. And, and also, you just, you just don't want players to be bailed out when the defender is in a good position. But that's what makes the game so great is the fact that as an offensive player, you got to try to manipulate and find out where you can sneak yourself in the